Matthew. And as families continue to grapple with the loss of loved ones, they still face a challenging road ahead, including complicated court battles, as we heard there. One person who has been by the side of many of those families is Miami-Dade's police chaplain, Rabbi Yossi Harlig, who joins us once again on the show. Rabbi, thank you so much for coming back on the program. Tell us how the families are doing as we now enter a new phase in this tragedy. Yeah, for the families, the first three weeks, there was panic, stress, crying, uh, worrying, are they going to find them alive or are they going to even bring back the family members uh, back to even bury it? Now, after, thank God, most families, were able, all families were able to bury their loved ones, now reality sets in. That's uh, very difficult for them because till for three weeks or four weeks, they were more focusing on the moment of getting them back. But now they realize it's setting in that they lost their loved one, their husband, their wife, their parents, their children. And I'm reaching out to many of them on a daily basis. And they're all telling me they're having a very, very difficult time. And speaking of the what you saw from our, our reporter there on the ground, the challenges that lie ahead about what should happen to that site. We know some want to memorial on the site. Others want it sold so that they can use that money to try and rebuild their lives. What do you want to see happen to that site? It's really a very personal thing for the family. So it's not something that I have an opinion about. It's something that each family may feel very different. But one of the things I talk to family members is that although the house fell down, but the home they built, the lives that they lived, and what was important to them, that will always remain. And you can remember them and keep their spirit, their neshama, their soul alive by continuing to do the things that were important to them. In our tradition, we believe that that keeps their soul, their existence alive through you. And those are the things that we talk about. What are the things that you could continue doing that was important to them. And this is something that all the families are grappling with, making sure the last thing they want is June 24th, 1.23 in the morning should be the last time the loved ones have a connection to them or an impact to them. And that's the things that we discuss.